Uh, welcome back everybody to episode 10 of my Dwarf Fortress tutorial. I am DJ Fogey. And if you haven't seen my previous episodes, I advise you to go back as I do explain a lot to get you to the point that I'm at now. Um, okay, what have we got going here? Well, our bridge was just finished. As you know from the last episode, I ordered this bridge to be built. And right now I want to connect it to a switch. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about that, as well as setting up a small military unit and adjusting its schedule so that it can train and things like that. But first, I want to get this bridge out of the way. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first off, we need a switch. We need a switch to be able to build a bridge. And to build a switch, let me go down to my uh, little workshop area. If you remember, I built a mechanics workshop. I'm going to hit Q and highlight him. I already had him building mechanisms just for this episode, but if you want to have him build mechanisms, you go A for add new task and T for make rock mechanisms. After you hit Q, of course, to uh, assign um, uh, set building task preferences right here. So you hit Q. That's Again, that's Q. Highlight the building you want to uh, make the task. In this case, the mechanics workshop. Hit A to add new task. And for this one, T to make rock mechanisms. Now I do have a bunch of them and if you look I can show you right here is what a mechanism looks like with this particular graphics pack that I have so I let it you can see Desite mechanisms and there is a bunch of them in there so there is a good thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to the top here I'm gonna build a switch. I'm gonna build it in this room probably in the corner because right now this is where everybody hangs out and I'll be able to get to it quickly so I'm gonna hit B for building and this time instead of a workshop you're gonna hit capital T for traps and stuff and I'll show you right quick. I'm gonna scroll down to the traps which is right here traps and levers hit shift and capital T and if you can see right here it says lever L. So I'm going to hit L to create a lever. And you need rock mechanisms to be able to do this. If you don't have any, you won't be able to build a lever. So I'm going to go highlight this corner of the room. As you can see it right here. I'm going to hit enter once and it's going to need a mechanism to be able to be built. So hit enter to choose your mechanism. Hit escape, hit escape, resume, and my mechanic should come up in here and build this switch. Now he may have uh, um, some hauling labors enabled, which is going to pretty much prevent him from doing this job. So, just make sure one of these guys isn't carrying a mechanism for it. Okay, I'm going to hit pause real quick, and I'm going to open up Dwarf Therapist. And I'm going to find my mechanic here. So, let's look for my mechanic. He's right here. So, let me just highlight his name. Okay, he does not have any hauling labors enabled. What else does he do? Oh, he doesn't really do anything, so he'll be able to get right to that. So, let's just go back in here, unpause, and, and I will just wait until he gets that uh, mechanism up there to build that. In the meantime, I will pause the video until he does that. Okay, here we are, and my mechanic just got done building that switch. So now we want to assign the order for him to uh, connect that switch to the bridge, so it will raise. And how we do that, same as we do for uh, assigning uh, um, work orders and things like that, we will hit Q for building task preferences, highlight the lever, as you can see, Desite lever right there. We're going to hit Add New Task, and B right here link up a bridge hit B it will automatically highlight the uh, pretty much the first bridge in our in our fortress it will automatically highlight it and if you hit enter assign it will ask you to uh, choose two different mechanisms and we have a bunch of them so we can hit enter enter and that's that that's all you gotta do I'm gonna escape hit resume and my mechanic should go back down grab one mechanism bring it up to the bridge he will connect it first there at the bridge then he will go down grab the other mechanism and work on the switch and then what will happen is the the switch will be connected to the bridge and I'll show you by pulling that lever and sealing up the fortress now give it just a moment and he should do that but in the meantime 
before he does that, I'm going to show you how to set up a small military unit. Up oh, there he is, right there. He's already bringing a mechanism to the bridge. You'll see. Just a second. He'll get there. He's going to spend some time working on that, and then he'll go get another one and hook up the switch. But uh, like I said, military. I'm going to pause it right quick, and this is a bit complicated, so try to keep up. Um, military is a bit complicated because of uh, the uh, what they call the, the schedules, okay? And schedules will really take care of your military. So let's hit M for military, as you can see right here. In here, you first have to assign a militia commander. And I'm going to hit, if you look right here, it says C for create squad. I'm going to hit C. You can assign what what uh, armor they uh, or uniform, basically, that they will be wearing. Right now, we don't have any armor. So we'll just go with leather armor for now. Um, and later on, we can change that. Uh, and right now, it assign, it doesn't have any people inside this uh inside this squad and this very first uh, uh, vacant position is going to be our um, militia commander so he needs to be the pretty much the best fighter of all of them and if like right here if I hit right the right arrow twice I can select the candidates for my squad okay now I can hit enter to assign anybody in this list to the squad and if you look up here, it says no relevant skills. He doesn't have any skills that are uh, coordinating with uh, military skills, basically. He doesn't have any military skills. So let's just uh, scroll through a couple of these guys and see who has any skills relevant. So this guy's a novice wrestler, but uh, we don't really need a novice wrestler. But it looks like he may be the only choice we have. Well, we'll just use him as an example for right now. So we'll hit enter on him. It will assign him to the very first position in our squad. Now you can go through and add other people into your squad. But right now I don't have enough to really create a, a, a an entire squad. So we'll just use him as our example. To change his weapons and supplies and things like that, you can hit E right down here for equip. And what that means is now you're going to be able to equip him with all kinds of different things. You can tell him leather armor or metal armor. You can tell him what weapons he needs to carry, things like that. And right now it's on, like his weapon, for example, is on individual choice melee. Which means whatever weapon he's good at using, he's going to choose to use. So let's go over here to our this selection, and I'm going to take this out. I don't want him to have his his choice of a melee weapon. So what we're going to do is hit uh, think enter. It will get rid of that. So now he's not going to go out and just grab any weapon that he's good at. He will just go empty handed basically. He won't have a weapon. And if we want to assign him a weapon, we can do that by hitting capital W. So hold shift, hit capital W, weapon. It'll give us a list of the different types of weapons we can use. So what if I want him to use, say, an axe? Let's find an axe. Um, halberds, mauls, whips, training. We don't want him to have a train. Ah, great axes, right there. Um, we don't. Do we? Should we do? I don't know if we should do that really. Ah, battle axes, right there. Duh. So if we hit enter on battle axes, right there. You can see it added that to the list. Now he has been assigned a battle axe user. And that's all you got to do, really. And you could change anything. You can change his helmet, his gloves, his boots, his armor, legs. Uh, and you can s select what material to use those out of. Uh, you can. Uh, there's a bunch of options here. And I advise you to check them all out and make sure that your uniforms are consistent. Like... You're going to choose uh, leather armor, choose all leather uh, accessories like the helmet and the gloves and the legs, okay, and the boots and the shield and things like that. If you're going to use metal, do that. If not, uh, do something else. But um, anyway, so we have him assigned to use a battle axe. Now, we're going to hit escape, and we have our military unit now. So what can we do now? We can hit um, 
S, I think it's S for squads. Yep, S for squads. If you look right here, hit S, and you can see the Copper Mountains right here. That's the, the squad we just created with the one guy in it. And if we hit A, we can select that squad, and we can give them orders. Now, we can uh, hit M, and I think, yep, we can hit M, and it will. you'll get this cursor right here. You can tell him to move to a location. I'm not going to do that. But uh, K, you can hit K and tell him to kill a creature at location or at the cursor site. So if I wanted him to kill one of my uh, water buffaloes, I could choose that water buffalo and hit enter. And my dude would come and kill that water buffalo. But we don't want to really do that. What we want to do is set up a schedule so that he trains on certain months and is inactive on certain months. So let's hit M for military again. Okay, and if you looked right down here at S for schedule, if you look at this, you hit S and it'll take you to another screen. This screen right here. This is his schedule. This is what he's scheduled to do if he's in active duty. Okay, and I'll show you active duty in just a moment, but right here is what we're concerned with. Right now, if if we put him in active duty, he's going to be training year-round. And that's kind of detrimental because sometimes you want him to have time off so he can eat, drink, and do all kinds of different things. So we want to maybe have him training two months and then have two months off. Training two more months and have two, two months off. Basically that schedule. And if we, if we can highlight each individual month by using our up and down arrows. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight these uh, the third and fourth month right here and right here. And I'm going to get rid of those. He's going to have no scheduled order on those two months so he can rest and do whatever other jobs he's assigned to do. So we're going to hit X. If you look down here, cancel order. So let's hit X right there. You can see no scheduled order. Let's go down one. Hit X, no scheduled order. I'm going to go down to the next uh, set of two months. X, no scheduled order. X, no scheduled order. And the very last two months do the same exact thing. So right now, if I was to hit escape and set him in active duty, he will train for two months have no, uh, and then go inactive for two months and train for two months and go back to inactive for two more months and on and on he goes for the rest of his life, basically. That's if I hit escape right now. Say you wanted to uh, add an order, a different type of order. Right now we're not going to get into that, but if you wanted to add an order and experiment, you can. You can hit O right here and give him uh, some different orders. And if you look, it says O, defend burrows. I'm not going to uh, tell you what a burrow is just yet. I have plans on explaining that later on. But if I hit O, you can change the orders. You can have him patrol, and you can set up a waypoint system for him to patrol a given route. You can hit O again, and it, you can then you can station him in a certain position and have him like on guard duty, say at the entrance to your fortress, making sure nothing gets in. If I hit O again, you can have him train. You can select any of these orders, and once you do... You can hit enter and it selects that order. Now it doesn't look like it's selected, but it is. And if I hit escape, um, you can assign that order to uh, any given uh, place that you want him or any given month that you want him to do that order. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape, escape, go back to this screen. And let me show you the very last thing about the military for this episode. Uh, w the one thing you need to pay attention to is S for squads. I'm going to hit S right quick and select our squads by hitting A, our squad. And if you look right here, T, schedule, inactive. If I hit T again, I can set him up as active training. And what that means is he's going to be active. He's going to be following that schedule. And if I hit S, you can see he's training for two months. He's off. But what we want him to do is be active. So I'm going to hit escape, and once I hit resume, now my guy will start uh, going to active duty and non-active duty uh, for two months at a time. So that's all you got to do to set up a military squad and give him orders for specific months. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth explanation about the military, uh, please be patient. I will get to that. But that's how you handle that situation to where he is not training 24-7 all year round. 
Anyway, this has been my 10th uh, episode, guys. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, I'll show you that, indeed, this switch does work. And we'll do a couple of other things like uh, setting up our bedrooms because those are n getting near to completion. So, like I said, next episode, we'll be setting this up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.